Good evening. Longview City Council meeting on September 3rd is now called to order. Tonight's meeting is being conducted via teleconference. We'll begin tonight with a roll call. District 1. Here. District 2. Here. District 3. Here. District 4. Here. District 5. Mr. Wright does not appear to be on the call. Okay. District 6. Here. Thank you all. Now we have a roll call for city staff. Uh, city manager. Here. City attorney. Here. City secretary. Here. Thank you very much. We have now reached citizen comment. Um, Sean, do we have any people wanting to speak tonight in our citizen comment portion? We do have one citizen that is on the line. They have not uh, notified that they are intending to speak. So I'm just giving a moment in case they want to raise their hand. If you want to speak, please raise your hand. If not, I don't see the hand raised, so I believe you can continue. We'll continue on. We'll go to consent agenda. All items of consent agenda will be considered together unless there is any item council members wish to pull off for separate discussion. If so, please indicate at this time. Item D. Go ahead. Mr. Perlin, what did you say? I'm sorry, sir. Item D. Item D, okay. Yeah. Anything else like to be pulled off for separate consideration? If not, um, okay, Mr. Perlin, do you want to discuss item D? Yes, um, we're talking about spending $70,000 on uh, new trash cans and recycle bins or recycle cans. My only concern about that is the recycle cans. If Are we... How are we doing on the recycling situation? I, I, uh, I hate to spend this kind of money on on recycle situations. If we're going to have, if we're if we're doing okay on it, that's fine. But if it's if they're shutting down constantly and we're not being able to use them, and we may be having to look at stopping recycling, I'm not, you know, not that we have to, but if we have to look at it, I'm not sure I want to spend that kind of money on cans that we may not be able to use for anything else. Le legitimate question, Mr. Pertle. Mr. Archer, I, if you're on the phone, I'm I'm curious about that as well. If we were to, to discontinue the recycling program, would those bins be able to be used for other things? Yeah, actually, the only thing we'll need to do is replace the lids. That's why we bought them where they were all black bodied. Um, but as of right now, uh, the MRF is operating well. Um, and so we continue our recycling efforts. But should that happen, yeah, we'll just have to replace the lids up. Okay. That, that that's good very good so with that uh question answer is there a motion on the consent agenda i make a motion we approve second uh there's a motion and a second we'll have a roll call vote district one yes district two yes district three yes district four yes district five and mr wright is not here district six yes and I vote yes as well. Ms. Secretary, would you please confirm the record of the vote? Yes, sir. Motion was made by Council Member Steve Pirtle, was seconded by Christian Ishihara. Motion passes 6 0. Wonderful. Um, we are now to our COVID 19 update. And are we there? There's my, it, is my, Agenda off. No, we we are to that item. We didn't have any additional information to provide. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay, our, our COVID nineteen update. Let me kind of bring you up to date as to where we are. And um, you know, for every day, basically for the last six months, I've been posting our COVID nineteen results on on Facebook and giving information I've been receiving from the Great County Health Department. But as of um, September first, which is Monday of the, or Tuesday this week. They're no longer hello? sorry. They're no longer reporting uh, to me on that. And all all the agencies are reporting directly to Net Health. So, in order to get information, if you'd like information, you go to Net Health's website. There, they have a uh, a page that will break things down. Um, but I do not. I no longer receive those updates. Therefore, I'm not able to pass those along. But uh, I do know this, our numbers are slowing down. We, we're not having the huge um, 30 and 40 positives a day. Our hospitalizations have stabilized. We're, we're not in any danger of uh, over um, 
emphasizing or over, over uh, exceeding our hospital capacity. Uh, we have not had any um, deaths to my knowledge in the last week. Um, and so those numbers are all positive. Um, I, I still think we must continue being very uh, prudent about wearing face masks. I think that something has helped uh, this, this virus slow down. If it's the face mask, then, then keep wearing it. If social distancing, keep social distancing. Just wash your hands, continue to do that. Anything we can do to keep this moving in the direction it's moving now will be beneficial, especially since school has started. We have not seen an, an, an unusual rise in cases with the first week or so of school being in session, which is a blessing. I hope that continues. Uh, but we have to be on the on the um, proactive side of this, not the reactive side, so that we can continue to do what we know is necessary to keep our businesses open, our schools open, our economy going, and get us back to as normal as possible. It's no fun wearing a mask. I, I, I wish we didn't have to, but to this, to this point, we still need to keep wearing the mask because that's what's been uh, given to us by the governor, and we're going to follow those orders. So I appreciate those that are that are willingly doing it and those that are begrudgingly doing it. I appreciate you too, because I know sometimes it's a pain, but um, I do think it's making a difference and I hope we'll continue to do that for our fellow man and for our, our families and our citizens and all those around us. So there is some uh, encouragement in the numbers that we're seeing. And so I hope that continues. Before we adjourn, there's a few things I wanna uh, take care of with city business. Labor Day closes. All city law me offices will be closed Monday, September 7th in the service of Labor Day. So they also re will resume regular business hours Tuesday, September the 8th. Trash and recycle service will be collected as normal, as they always do. Those, those guys never rest. Longview Public Library will be closed Saturday, September 5th to Monday, September 7th. Book drops and curbside pickup will not be available. Remember, if you have a water or sewer emergency during the holidays, please call 903-236-3030. Also note that our national annual National Night Out event has been canceled. It's scheduled each year for the first Tuesday of October. It's canceled the risk associated with the COVID-19 virus. Um, because the city of Columbia is asking neighborhoods to forego their regular parties and instead connect to neighbors in other ways this year. Neighbors are encouraged to stay connected to one another through phone calls, social media, or socially distanced in-person opportunities. Neighbors are also encouraged to consider doing acts of service for others, whether that is assisting an elderly neighbor with yard work, preparing a meal for the family next door. Um, all those things, you know, once again, these are bumps in our road. And I wish we didn't have to cancel any of these events because they're all so meaningful and so um, so good for our community. But at this point uh, where we are, we must do things that are that are um, for the safety and the well-being of our community. And so that's what we have to do. But before we go, I have one other thing. I, I, I've heard a lot of people in, uh, asking me and, and chattering on uh, different medias, why the city council voted to raise taxes? Well, my answer to that is very simple. We did not raise taxes. Let me repeat that clearly. The Long Beach City Council did not vote to raise your taxes and has not raised taxes since I've been the mayor. Quick background. There are three ways the city of Long Beach receives revenue from which we, we derive our budget. We get sales tax revenue, which are determined by the state property tax revenues, which are levied by the Gregg County Appraisal District, and fees, which we actually have control over. The fees are the only item in those three that we have the ability to make any changes with. And as you can imagine, we have experienced a significant decline in both our sales tax revenues and our fees as a result of COVID-19. On the other hand, though, property values had a little increase this year, which resulted in a higher than anticipated property tax revenue to the city of Longview. But understand, we don't know what those revenues are until they're given to us by Greg County Appraisal District, just like we don't know our sales tax numbers until they come in from the state. So those are numbers that are given to us and we have to use those monies to assimilate our budget. It was stated in our last meeting that um, the city council has raised taxes because the property values went up. Well, that's not the case. Because we received higher than anticipated revenue through the property valuations, it just allowed us to pull, to not pull as much money over from our fund balance, which is actually our, our little savings account. So we elected to maintain the same tax rate while doing as many services as we can during this downturn economy. But we did not raise your taxes. Raising taxes would have been increasing the tax rate and it was not increased. Last year, the tax rate was 0.5589 for $100 valuation. And this year it's 0.5589 for $100 valuation. That is not an increase, it stayed the same. So let me explain. Your tax bill might go up, 
if your property values increased, but our tax rate stays the same. Your tax bill can also go down if your property value decreased, but our tax rate stays the same as it was last year. That's due to the determined by the Gregg County Appraisal District, not the city of Longview. I can see how this is confusing because our tax bill is made up of really three things, city tax, county tax, and school tax. All those rates are based, are based off of your property valuation and it's determined by the Gregg County Appraisal District. So our rate is 55 cents for every $100 valuation. That doesn't change whether your value goes up or down. We still just get 55%, 55 cents for every $100 valuation. So we did not raise taxes in this tax year. So, and please don't get me wrong. I don't mind explaining this to ever, to, ever, to anybody, well-meaning citizens who wanna understand this. However, if you're out there seeking to sow discord and be adversarial by spreading mistruths, we don't have time for that. Um, I think what may have confused people is that they forgot that a year ago, the citizens of Longview asked for and voted for a bond election for parks, roads, and public safety improvements for our city. Due to that vote, taxes did increase, but that was not a decision voted on by city council. That was voted on by the citizens of our community. So I hope this will clear this up for you guys, because myself nor this council has raised taxes since we've been in these seats. And historically, if you look at our tax rate over the years, this council and previous councils have only adjusted the tax rate to pay for voter approved bond issuances. We have worked extremely close with city staff during this pandemic to cut our budget in a way to expediently continue offering services needed and not burden our citizens. So I hope that helps clear anything up. So no further confusion uh, floating around there because we're doing the best we can with the money given to us through the budget to provide the services that our city needs. Mr. Moore, I hope I didn't just butcher that in your opinion. <laughs> Mr. Moore, you still there? <laughs> he's, I guess he's, he's on the floor dying. There. Okay, I, I, I muted my, well, it <laughs> muted me. Uh, <laughs> For, for whatever reason. Anyway, Mayor, uh, you're exactly right. And let me just quickly piggyback on, on something you said. Are we getting slightly more ad valorem revenue in next year's budget than this year? Yes, we are. We've had new construction. And it's as simple as that. Uh, Mayor, you're exactly right. We have not changed the tax rate since uh, you and I both have been on the council and the current council. Uh, but but we've had growth and so we're getting additional revenue because of that but we have not raised the taxes on our taxpayers well i, I just want to make that very clear and i appreciate you, you mr moore indulging me because i know um your financial knowledge is far superior to mine but i just want the citizens to know that we're we're here we're, we're protecting you every way we can we're trying our very best to uh use the things that are given to us uh, in the best way possible to keep our taxes low and our services um, up to par with the expectations that you deserve. And so just wanted to make that little comment tonight. I know there's been some discussion about it, and I hope that clears it up. And if it's not, please, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd be happy to sit down and talk with you about it. And if I can't answer your questions, I know city staff can, because uh, this is this is all out in plain view. We're not trying to hide anything whatsoever. This is a public uh, thing we're trying to be transparent and show you where your money is being spent and how it's being spent and how it's derived so hope that clears some things up so i appreciate y'all being here tonight i thank you council for the job that y'all are doing i know all y'all do things behind the scenes not just when we have meetings and it's greatly appreciated in every aspect of our community i know your districts uh appreciate it i hear it from them all the time about how responsive you are how how much you care about them and how you take care of problems that they're presented to you. So keep up the good work. And until next time, God bless us and see you soon. We're adjourned. Mayor, Mayor, yes. may I ask one thing? Yes. I, I I move we excuse Mr. Wright from tonight's meeting. Thank you, sir. Is there a second on that? This is Kristen, I'll second. Moving the second, we'll uh, have a roll call vote. District one? Yes. District two? <laughs> Ms. Nona, are you there, honey? She's, we'll, she's we'll come back to Ms. Nona in just a second. District three? Yes. District four? Yes. District six? Yes. District two, are you still there? Yes. 
Thank you. And I vote yes as well. Ms. Uh, Secretary, please read the vote, please. Yes, motion was made by Council Member Moore, seconded by Ishihara. Motion passes 6-0. Thank you so much. And with that, we are adjourned.